Story time. In London, I went to go visit a friend called Chris Lamb, who later became the Debian project leader. And I got talking to one of his colleagues, I, I guess it was his boss, who, um, whose name just escapes me. Um, sorry about that. But one thing I learned um, from the short experience of visiting him in the office is that he took uh, great care about the experience of the user that landed on the website. You know, the, the, the customer journey was explicitly mapped, storyboarded, and, you know, <laughs> what the app did um, wasn't important, right? It what was important was that onboarding process, that an initial user registration. That was the absolute focus of that site. And um, I, I mean, and that was eye opening to me because I was also, I, you know, like for me as an engineer or something, I'm always thinking, like, okay, now once a user is registered, you're like, then he's going to want this functionality, maybe that functionality. I mean, it was eye-opening because that's just bullshit. What really matters in this game is that first 15 seconds of your user's experience on that site. That, that initial journey, that has to be storyboarded, has to be explicitly mapped out and figured out. And most companies have come across this absolutely f this up. They don't even think about it. And that's where they go wrong. They don't think about the journey. They don't map it out. They don't explicitly spell out every moment, every click. <sighs> yeah, it's frustrating. And I'm thinking about this now because I'm, 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 I've been battling between my electricity provider and my bank to set up like a direct debit, a gyro connection. And neither has, has great documentation on either side. Neither has the experience, you know, like use case, I want to give you money. They don't seem to have that mapped or documented or spelled out anywhere. So I'm like, DBS Bank tells me, go talk to my electricity provider. My electricity provider tells me to talk to my bank. I mean, I'm just trying to give you money, guys. I just, ah. and I'm getting like uh, things and notices that I'm, my, my bill is late. <laughs> it's ridiculous, right? And it just makes me think, like, a lot of things that I work on, we, we have a journey. But, like, how many times... Like and, and, and of course you do you might even do some end-to-end -end testing, right? But how many times is a video uploaded on a website where you can just click and play it like a YouTube channel, a uh, YouTube video, and it just spells out what you need to do. Like step one, put your account details here after logging in or something. Step two, click agree. Like there's no I've never had this experience where like the video was there telling you exactly what to do. I it's just sad. Like, my parents would love this. I mean, I'm always having to, you know, like, for me, as an adult, it's just like one challenge after another. How do I pay my my kids' school bills? How do I pay my electricity bills? Like, the, the, the user interfaces and the journeys are so terrible. If I could just watch a video, I don't need to call up customers. If I could just watch a video where you tell me exactly what I need to do, that would be a huge peace of mind lifted of me sort of thing. But no one does it, right? No one uploads videos about how to interact with their happy journey on their on their um, app application or mobile application. It's like, oh, web or mobile, it's just, it's just bizarre, right? It's just absolutely bizarre to me. Can companies just start nailing this down, please? Nail down the journey, document it, have it on a, you know, a deep link so I can reference it, maybe each step even. And yeah, a video. Jesus, how hard is it to make a screencast? Oh my lord. Sorry for the rant, guys. Just had to get off my chest. Take a clip.